<laughs> so now we get to this symbol, which is the power symbol, and which might look slightly uh, inappropriate. <laughs> or like some psychological test. Tell me, what do you see when you look at this image? Uh, Rorschach test or whatever the heck they call those tests. Anyhow, uh, check it out. There's a little terminology disambiguation. So uh, we've talked about on and off, one and zero, binary digits, bits, and now there's a new phrase, machine language, because computers only speak uh, zeros and ones. And all of these words here can be used interchangeably to refer to this function that computers have of, you know, basically having switches or circuits which are in the on or off position. And we could have on or off represented as one or zero. And we call those ones and zeros binary digits, right? And binary digits, uh, you know, an abbreviation of that is bits. And all we, we call the language that computers speak machine language, which means that all they understand is ones and zeros. And I use understand as a euphemism because truly they just process. They don't understand like what even is understanding. We, we, we think we understand. Do we understand? Certainly we operate at a different level than computers. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I could say that with certainty, <laughs> getting a little metaphysical. So anyhow, just a little terminology disambiguation there. And here I've kind of written that out, what I just said. So you could pause the video if you want and reread this. Or heck, I'll read it to you. On and off, one and zero, binary digits, bits, and machine language are all words used to refer to this idea that within a computer, it's all nothing but a bunch of zeros and ones or switches that are on or off. It's all just a bunch of binary digits or bits. That's the language which computers speak. It's machine language. So that power symbol thing, which you saw right here, right, is really a combination of one and zero because that's what computers understand is ones and zeros, ons and offs, because they run on electricity. <laughs> this entire thing, which is the main thing which you're learning this week. Computers run on electricity. Electricity has two states, on, and off and given one circuit or one switch which could be represented by a light bulb or stored in a vacuum tube or in a transistor or on a silicon wafer given one light bulb we could store two messages and now let's just scale that up if we scaled it up to two light bulbs we could store four messages because computers do right input process output storage and now with two light bulbs we've got input output and storage so we've got three of the four things a computer does and, um, you know, that's where this power symbol comes from, on and off. So that's, these are the, the basic things we are learning uh, this week. The last thing to point out is that most programs, when you write a program for a computer, you don't write it in machine language. You write it in some programming language. And then once you've written it in the programming language, that, that program that you wrote in the programming language gets translated or compiled down to zeros and ones. Right, so that the computer can then understand it. The machine can then understand it. So that's a little bit about uh, zeros and ones, bits. It's a little bit about zeros and ones, binary digits, bits, machine language, and on and off, and how they're all related, and how that connects back to this universal symbol, which we see everywhere. We find it everywhere on technology. And most of us don't understand exactly why does it look like this. It looks like this because it's representative of a one and a zero.